What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> All right. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. That's where every weekday morning you and I, we get together. We have a little bit of uh, coffee. coffee. We get into God's word and we grow. And I love it's just a sip. It's warm. Kind of cold. If it was Jesus and it was lukewarm, he would spit it out of his mouth. Hey, 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 chill out on my coffee, boy. <laughs> well, this year, 2024, no, no, no more. 2024, Lord willing, we'll make it through the books of Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Hebrews. Let's have some coffee. We'll pray and get, get into God's word. <laughs> okay. You like the taste? Okay. Okay, we're going to pray. Well, it's, it's, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your word. Please help us to understand it. Please give us your spirit. We need you to teach us. We need you to apply it to our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so we're at the book of Numbers. Numbers, wow. We're going to work through this section. One through 13. Okay? What's that? What was that sound? I don't know what that sound was. It was kind of an odd sound, wasn't it? Okay, you ready? Yep. All right. Then the children of Israel, the whole congregation, came into the wilderness of Zin in the first month. And the people stayed in Kadesh. And Miriam died there and was buried there. Now there was no water for the congregation, so they gathered together against Moses and Aaron. So why, what? why are they mad? Because there's no water. There's no water. Why? 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 Yep. And the people contended with Moses and spoke, saying, "If only we had died when our brethren died before the Lord. Why have you brought us up? Why have you brought up the assembly of the Lord into the wilderness that we and our animals should die here?" Nope, they're still in the wilderness because they sinned. And why have you made us come up from Egypt to bring us to this evil place? It is not a place of grain or figs or vines or pomegranates, nor is there any water to drink. Moses and Aaron went to from the presence of the assembly to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and they fell on their faces. And the glory of the Lord appeared to them. Isn't that interesting? When Moses and Aaron have problems, where do they go? Do they grumble and complain to them? These stupid people, I don't like them. God, why did you make us serve these people? Went to God. They went to God. Is that a good thing to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, go to God. I did check the audio. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Take the rod. You and your brother, Aaron, gather the congregation. Speak to the rock before their eyes. Mm -hmm. And it will yield its water. Thus you shall bring water from them, out for them, out of the rock, and give drink to the congregation and their animals. Yeah, so Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. Right, so what did the Lord say? Take your... Staff. Your rod, your staff, good. And go. No, no, yeah. no, no. They, he said, talk to the rock. Yeah, right. Was God going to be gracious? Mm-hmm. Even though they were a bunch of grumblers and complainers? Was God cruel to them? Nope. Was God mean to them? Let's he wasn't like, hey, I'm going to act this amount. That's right. He was, he was going to show them his grace and his mercy, even though they didn't deserve it. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. And Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly together before the rock. And he said to them, you ready? Hear now, you rebels. Must we bring water out of this rock? Then Moses lifted his hand and he struck the rock twice with his rod. And water came out abundantly and the congregation and their animals drank. Wait, rebels? Rebels. He's calling them a bunch of rebels. Like you bunch of people who are uh, like turning against us, turning against me, turning against Aaron, turning against the Lord. And he hits the rock how many times? But Two times. God say, hey, he's not supposed to yeah, he's supposed to speak to it. That's right. 
but he couldn't. Yeah. Then the Lord spoke to him, Moses and Aaron. Here's what he said. You ready? Because you did not believe me to hallow me in the sight of the children of Israel, therefore you shall not bring this assembly into the land which I have given them. This was the water of Meribah, because the children of Israel contended with the Lord, and he was hallowed among them. So even though Moses struck the rock twice, did God still make water come out of it? Mm -hmm. But he said, you're not going to be able to go to the camp because you're not going to go. Do you think that made Moses like, oh, good, I didn't want to go there anyways? No, I think it made him very sad. Because. Yeah, right, he doesn't get to go. Uh, I think the best verse in this is probably verse 8, 10, and uh, 12. Um, That's what I got. What was 12? 12 was, and the Lord spoke to Moses, because you did not believe me and ha to hallow me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Okay. Therefore, you shall not bring the, this assembly. Um, I would do the, you know, Moses fell on his face. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, verse 6, and they fell on their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we'll wrap this up. I know you're getting tired. So you want to know what the New Testament teaches us? Do you know who that rock was supposed to be a picture of? Jesus. Why do you think the rock would be a picture of Jesus? Because it gave water. Okay, it gave water, right? Come and drink of the living water. Good. And it also helps the people. It helps the people. Good. Did the people deserve the water? How is God going to give them the water? He did the rock and made it. So he did the rock. He made it. But what was his attitude supposed to be? What were they going to see was the Lord's attitude? If he spoke. Well, he would be gracious and merciful and kind. That's right. Uh, that's the way the Lord <sighs> will make it known. Mm -hmm. Right? And so, is God still merciful and gracious today? Are we those rebels? Yeah. But what is? how does God treat us? Oh. Kind. Right? Do you know what Jesus tells us we're supposed to pray? For our enemies. For our enemies, but also, hallowed be your name. Right? Did they, did they hallow the Lord that day because he gave them water from the rock at Meribah? Yeah. yeah, they did. They did, right? Can and we? Then they were. Yeah, can we bring God glory now? Yeah. Can we bring God glory even by not being like these rebels? Uh -huh. Does he command us to not grumble and complain uh -huh. like our fathers did in the wilderness? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, didn't they walk around the palm of rain like seven times? They walked around the wilderness for 40 years. And they walked around the palm of rain like seven times. Well, they walked around the city of Jericho for oh, seven yeah. days, yeah. yeah. And then they blew their horns. They blew their horns, and what happened that's to the wall? Bad. That's right, but that's for another day. Trust. <laughs> All right, you ready to pray? Okay. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. Lord, we thank you that you are gracious, that you are merciful. Lord, we thank you for the love that you have shown us in Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that we would not be like those rebellious people in the wilderness, that our hearts would naturally want to be that way, but that we would not grumble and complain. When there's hard providence, Lord, we know there is at times. We pray that we would fall on our faces before you and seek your mercy and kindness. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, may God bless you. May you trust in the Lord and his goodness toward you. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon R.P. Church in rural Southeast Iowa. 
We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.